Yes, when it comes to a $1,400 fourth stimulus check specifically focused on the low income and fixed income beneficiaries of Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now this is a major concern and question that I continue to see down below in the comments section a lot and what I wanna focus on for you right here in the video, as I do know that there are a lot of you here in the community who are low income and fixed income beneficiaries of those benefits I just mentioned a few seconds ago. So let's get into it and talk about all the details, what you need to know, and of course, addressing those concerns and the questions. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because I am your one and only daily advocate, not only only that because we are rapidly approaching 500,000 subscribers right here on the channel and it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button down below. Also remember it is my dedication, my commitment, and my promise to you and everybody right here in the community to continuously be here right by your side during this very busy, confusing, and very uncertain time that we're currently living through right now as things are changing very, very rapidly. Either way, I'm doing all the research and breaking it down into these short videos and delivering it to you every single day right here on the channel. So again, thanks so much for joining me, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about the questions and concerns in regards to a $1,400 fourth stimulus check specifically focused on low income and those fixed income beneficiaries, millions upon millions of fixed income beneficiaries. All right, so let's get into the details. And like I said, I see this down below in the comment section literally every single day. There's a couple thousand comments that come in literally every single day across the entire channel. And I do see this in the comment section every single day day. So that's why I want to focus on this because there's a lot of questions about this. And again, I want to be here for you in any way that I possibly can be. All right. Now at this time, again, I've mentioned this before in other videos, but before we get into this, I want to throw this out there really uh, quickly so we can all be on the same page. I think all of us know this, but again, full disclaimer, I just want to throw it out there and I do this always in the videos just to make it very clear so we can all be on the same page. But as of right now, we all completely recognize there is not a fourth stimulus check as of right now. No, it has not been approved. No, it's not being deposited tomorrow, nothing like that, okay? But does it mean that it's all game over and it means that we're not gonna get anything else? I wouldn't say that quite yet because this year is going to be a very interesting one so far, okay? We're still relatively early on in the year. There's a lot of 2023 to go. And as a result of that, we gotta continue watching all this stuff very closely because based on what's being said, this year is gonna be a very interesting one. And based on what goes on as far as the economic situation, um, we got to watch that very, very closely because that is what is going to predicate the likelihood of another check going out, okay? So as of right now, we might be thinking, but wait, uh, COVID's gone and it's not going to be, you know, we're not going to get another COVID check. I agree with you. We're probably not going to get another COVID check. Remember, the first three checks that we got were related to COVID. That's not really a thing anymore, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that like COVID's all gone and stuff like that, but here's the thing. Um, those first three that we got were based on that. However, remember this much as well. Every single time that we do get a recession here in the United States, every single time over the last 23 years or so, they've sent out stimulus checks. So again, they're going to call it something different. Um, but again, the likelihood of another check coming at some point is probably very high. But when that will be, again, that's the big question up in the air right now that we're all trying to wonder. But I don't wanna get too sidetracked here. I wanna focus on the main cons uh, questions and concerns, which are, in the event of another check, will we be included as in fixed income beneficiaries? Now, when I say fixed income beneficiaries, I mean the entire list that I mentioned earlier. And then again, anybody that I may have missed on that list, again, you're pretty much all included here uh, when I'm what I'm talking with what I'm talking about here. All right, so here's what it comes down to. Please remember this much. Let me ask you this first off for the first three checks that we received in early 2020, late 2020 and early 2021 were fixed income beneficiaries included. Yes, fixed income beneficiaries, all the beneficiaries across the board that I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video. Yeah, everybody was included for the most part. Now, here's the thing. I do get it with all uh, with all of these, you know, different things like this going on. Of course, there's always going to be an exception to the rule. Now, of course, obviously, there were things like adult dependents were not included in some cases. OK, or, you know, representative payees, anybody that had a rep payee, the money went to, you know, that person because it's the representative payee. Right? 
right? And then again, they were supposed to give that money to you. So again, there were some unique situations where maybe as a fixed income beneficiary, maybe you didn't get a check. But for the most part, like the vast majority of fixed income beneficiaries were getting checks and supposed to be getting them, okay? So long story short, when it comes down to it, in the event of another check, and again, whatever it happens to be, if it happens to be this year or next year or in three years from now, again, we don't really know exactly when something like this could possibly take place, but I can tell you this much. They continue to uh, deploy the same strategy every single time. When we get into an economic situation, they print up trillions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars, and it usually involves some type of check, and then it goes out to the people, and they direct us to spend it. That's why it's called a stimulus check, because they want us to stimulate the economy. So long story short is what I'm trying to say is that it's, you know, the likelihood of an economic situation happening again is very, very high. Another recession will be coming. Another economic downturn will be coming. Now, is that me being pessimist, uh, pessimistic? No, it's me being a realist. We know this is happening. It's the natural ebb and flow of the economy. It's not a bad thing, okay? As I mentioned before in other videos, a recession or an economic contraction is a reset. It's not a bad thing at all, especially right now with all this very high inflation that we're dealing with. It probably wouldn't be such a bad thing at all if the economy slows down a little bit. It would not be bad because it would bring this inflation down and that would be good because at the end of the day, is this inflation hitting our bank accounts? Is it hitting our wallets? Is it taking more of our money? Yeah, and it's getting pretty annoying, right? I think all of us can probably agree, getting a little bit sick of paying five, 10 percent more for our groceries month over month over month, paying more for shelter, housing, rents, uh, health care, all these things like this. Are you getting a little tired of it? I'm not sure about you, but I am definitely getting tired of it. You know what I mean? It is so annoying. The same old things we buy every single week, it's like, are you kidding me? It's more this week yet again. I mean, maybe in some instances, prices fluctuate a little bit. For the most part, it just continues to trend higher and higher. And it's just really annoying, right? So my point is, an economic uh, contraction or a recession, just look at it as a reset. It's kind of good, okay? Now, I'm not saying that we want to, you know, look for a big crash. It's nothing like that, a big crash and burn. We're not looking for something like that, but just a nice reset would not be such a bad thing at all, right? All right, so when it comes down to it, basically, if uh, in the event of another check, and there will be one at some point. Now, again, I want to make it very clear. Does it mean that it's coming next week? No. Does it mean that it's coming this year? We don't know that for sure yet. It's all going to be based on the economic situation. But in the event of another check, which will happen at some point, because that's what they do every single time in the, in the event of a recession, you can go back and look at all of them. Back in 2000, 2001, there were checks, $300. 2008, $600 checks. 2020, $1,200 checks. 2021, $1,400 checks. Every single time the economy gets into a recession or into an economic downturn, they print up money and they give it to the people in the form of stimulus. They do it every single time. They've been doing it for decades and they will continue doing it because that is their strategy to uh, stimulate the economy and get a lot of money in, um, you know, kind of injected into the economy very quickly. And they know that it works because they know that if they give us money, we spend it. And that's exactly what they want us to do, right? So, in the event of another check, will low income and fixed income beneficiaries be included? Now, of course, I can't promise anything because I have no clue what Congress is going to do going forward, but I would say the likelihood is very, 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 very high that low income and fixed income would be included. And the reason that I say that is because it all comes down to income. Every single time that they approve these checks, they don't look at it and say, oh my, you're a fixed income beneficiary? Well, I don't know about this one. They don't do that. They look at income. That's the only thing they look at. Now, generally, they put some uh, parameters around it and they'll say something like, you know, uh, single filers up to, say, 75 grand or maybe $100,000, uh, married couples filing jointly, uh, maybe get, a, you know, up to, say, one fifty dollars or $200,000 of income, something like that. Whatever would be reported on a tax return uh, would be, you know, defined as your income, okay? Now, here's the thing as well. I do know that there are a lot of you, and again, fixed income beneficiaries generally, not everybody, but in general, most fixed income beneficiaries don't file a tax return. Does this mean that you would be exempt from getting some kind of payment? No, it simply means the Social Security Administration would do the same thing that they did the last three times. 
they would take all the files of all the beneficiaries, they would submit it to the IRS, and they would work together and submit those payments. That's how they do it, So, okay? So it does not necessarily mean that a, a tax return needs to be filed, which by the way, no, this is not tax advice. This is not uh, accounting advice at, in any way, shape, or form. I'm just telling you the process of what they do. They, we saw this play out the last three times that we got checks, is that when they approve it, as in um, Congress comes together, they pass the bills through the House, the Senate, they send it over to the president, the president signs it, it turns into law, boom, we've got a bill. Then what do they do? The Treasury, the IRS go to work on sending out those payments to those individuals who file a tax return because the IRS has all that information on file. They've got your socials, they've got your income, they've got all that detail, and in most cases, they have your direct deposit information in the event of the IRS and a tax return, right? They have that information. However, for all the people that maybe do not file a tax return, then the Social Security Administration comes forward and says, hey, yo, here's a file of 70 million names and beneficiaries and bank accounts for people that we send payments to on a monthly basis through Social Security payments. Maybe you don't have their information because, you know, maybe they don't file a tax return. They submit the files to the IRS and then they go to work issuing those payments. We saw it play out the last couple of times. In fact, the last payment that we received, the $1,400 back in early 2021, there was some drama about that because the files were not sent to the IRS. Remember that? There was about a three-week delay from the time that the first wave of checks went out until the payments went out for uh, Social Security beneficiaries. It was about a three-week delay because Social Security did not submit those files to the IRS. Remember that whole thing? We were covering it in great detail during that time. So a lot of drama during that time, but that was a perfect example of exactly what happened. So that's what it comes down to. So for all the questions and the concerns that I see down below in the comment section, I hope this kind of breaks it down for you. I hope this shakes out all the details and gives you the answers that you needed to know. So now the big question is when? When are we gonna get something? And again, I don't know that. I'm just being real with you right now. I do not know that. Nobody really knows that at that time. What it really comes down to is the economic situation. What is going on with the economy? Do we see a contraction? Do we see a recession? Do we see something greater than that? What happens? Well, according to what I'm reading and according to what I've been talking about in previous videos, which is the second half of 2023, according to many people, is we're going to see all of this that we saw out of the Federal Reserve as in aggressive interest rate hikes and all of this uh, that we saw last year basically coming into fruition in the second half of 2023. That's when they're saying it's going to hit the fan. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so watch out. Put your ponchos on, everybody, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, um, but this is what they're saying. So again, we won't really know until the time comes, right? We won't know until it's happening in real time. And then we say, oh, wow, this is the train wreck, uh, wreck we were looking for. And this is what they've been talking about. So until then, it's just a waiting game. That's all we can really do. So again, it's, you know, I, I wish there was something more that we knew about this, but literally it's all it is. We can just wait until we see it happening in real time or we, until we see the, uh, the, the economic data and everything coming out suggesting, oh, wow, okay, we know this is coming for sure, just a matter of time until it hits. And we're pretty much already seeing that. It's just kind of a waiting game. So that's pretty much what it comes down to. But will it actually garner another check? Well, that's the big wild card that's still up in there. The big question will be, how deep does this thing actually get? Well, we'll have to wait. We don't know that yet, right? We don't know the details quite yet. So all we can do is kind of continue waiting, but I hope this kind of answers the question as far as the concerns that I've seen down below in the comment section, the questions, the comments, the concerns, things like that. Fixed income beneficiaries, I know it always feels like we're forgotten about every single time. Oh my, they forgot about us again, right? Well, let's just wait it out here and let's just see what happens, but again, they haven't forgotten about us the first three times, so I don't know why they would forget about us this next time, right, in the event of another one. Anyway, hope this helps you out to better understand the situation. As I do get more details on anything going on and things are changing literally every single day, I will be right back here for you, breaking it all down into these short videos. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next one. Take